Hey everyone, I'm Hoop Smiles, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to hoop around your arm. Now, before we get into some arm hooping, uh, the size of hoop that you use may vary. Uh, really, you know, it's up to you. Now, if you use an extra, extra large hoop, that could make this, uh, this hoop trick more challenging if that hoop starts hitting the ground or, you know, it's hard to kind of get that hoop spinning around. Or if you use an extremely small hoop, um, you know, that could also uh, make this challenging as well. So really, uh, I just recommend trying different size hoops. There are multiple ways that you can start spinning the hoop around your arm. One being is you can go ahead and grab your hoop underhand and extend your arm out to your side. You can go ahead and either spin that hoop so that that hoop is uh, rolling forward or uh, you can also spin that hoop so that that hoop is rolling backwards as well. And also, it doesn't matter uh, which arm you start out with. If you uh, want to use your left or your right arm, that's okay too. I actually recommend uh, practi practicing this trick on both arms. As you extend the hoop outward to your side, gripping that hoop tightly, start rotating your hoop. And as you rotate your hoop about a half rotation, that's when you can go ahead and just release that hoop and moving your thumb inward towards your palm, allow that hoop to just kind of flow onto your, your arm wrist area. Now to maintain that hoop around your arm so that you get a nice, fluid, smooth rotation, you wanna go ahead and make sure that your arm is parallel with the ground as you extend it outward. Because if you start to you know, move your arm up too high, there's a chance that that hoop could come back down towards your body and fall. Now to keep that hoop up, you can slightly just rotate your arm in a circle, rotating it at your shoulder. And uh, when you do this sort of movement, you wanna make sure that you find a balance. Because if you, let's say, do too big of rotations, there's a chance that that hoop could uh, just maybe fling off your body. However, if let's say you're rotating your arm to spin that hoop and you don't really move your arm enough, there's a chance that hoop could also just fall off as well. But here's the thing, I also do recommend practicing um, rotating your arm, doing some bigger rotations, also moving your arm a little faster, because when you do move your arm faster, you kind of do that circular motion, um, that hoop can actually start to speed up. So if you want your hoop to go faster, uh, you can just kind of rotate your arm faster as well. Now if you want that hoop to slow down, uh, you can just go ahead and slow down that rotation. But once again, going back to what I was saying earlier, if you do too slow, there's a chance that hoop could just stop completely and fall. And if you find that when that hoop is spinning around your arm and you're encountering this situation where that hoop is getting kind of close to your body and you're kind of like, oh, it's going to hit me, uh, then something you can do is you can just kind of slow down that arm rotation and kind of move your arm down um, closer to the ground. And that'll kind of naturally, you can just use the gravity uh, pulling that hoop down to bring that hoop back away from your body. Now, if you find that you're having the opposite problem and that hoop is, let's say, uh, spinning too close to your hand or just flinging off your body, something you can do is just raise your arm up to allow that hoop to kind of naturally slide back down closer to your body. And then as that starts to happen, you can uh, lower your arm to re-stabilize that hoop. Another way that you can spin the hoop around your arm, if let's say you're uh, struggling to spin that hoop around your hand to get that hoop to come inward towards your body, something you can do is just go ahead and extend your arm outward and stick your arm through the hoop and take your hoop and uh, place that hoop, I would say uh, maybe on your forearm is a, is a good location to start out. And you can just take your non-hooping hand grab your hoop, and then spin it around your arm. Now once the hoop is spinning around your arm, 
you can go ahead and uh, rotate your shoulder, moving your arm to uh, assist in keeping that hoop up. Now, as you get better with spinning that hoop around your arm and that hoop is not flinging off your body, uh, something I recommend practicing is being able to move that hoop at different locations on your arm. One being, uh, I recommend trying to get that hoop in between your elbow and your shoulder, kind of more around your bicep. And the reason why I recommend practicing this is this is one of the, um, the key starters to being able to hoop around your elbow. Now, if you're interested in learning how to hoop around your elbow, I recommend checking out my uh, beginner elbow hooping tutorial. Now, something else you might want to practice when hooping around your arm is that transition from uh, spinning that hoop kind of around your forearm, wrist area, and then going back to spinning that hoop in vertical lasso around your hand. Now, if you're not familiar with spinning that hoop in vertical lasso around your hand like this, uh, then you can go ahead and watch my tutorial that teaches you how to hoop in vertical lasso. Now, something else you may want to consider when performing this trick is the type of clothes that you wear. Because, let's say if you're wearing uh, some, you know, type of shirt or coat or something that has big baggy sleeves and you're spinning that hoop around your arm, you know, there's a chance that's probably not going to help you uh, to keep that hoop up. You can also try hooping sleeveless on your bare skin, which uh, may add a little bit extra grip when spinning that hoop. However, the downside I found to hooping on bare skin, depending on what part of, um, you know, part of the body that you're hooping on, is that there is a chance um, that bruising can occur. So if you bruise easily and you hoop over your bare skin, that might be something you might want to think about. Um, so, you know, wearing layers of clothing or just sort of protective um, clothing can actually maybe even prevent uh, some of that bruising from happening or just kind of lessen um, the bruising, not saying that you won't get any bruising at all, especially if you first start out, uh, there's a chance you, that your arm may get really sore uh, when doing arm hooping. So now that you're becoming the ultimate arm hooping master, now I recommend practicing spinning that hoop on your other arm. And as you get better spinning that hoop around your other arm, then I recommend practicing using two hoops, uh, spinning one hoop on each arm. And now what's great about spinning two hoops is you can practice spinning those hoops at similar speeds. You can also spin one hoop a little bit faster than the other. Uh, something else you can do is kind of move your hoops at different locations. You can also uh, spin one hoop more diagonal than the other. I just recommend getting creative and exploring what you can do with your hoops. So everyone, thank you out there for watching this video on uh, arm hooping. If you guys have any questions, comments, uh, you know, feel free to leave those in the comments section. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in and enjoy.